Guam is set to get a major capability boost. The U.S. Navy is on its way to deploying the MQ-4C to Anderson Air Force Base on Guam and will likely be used to monitor shipping across much of the vast Pacific Ocean. The development comes at a time of growing tensions between the United States and China over the South China Sea and Taiwan. China has been militarizing the area with the installation of a large number of long-range surveillance radar and air defense systems. In this video, Defense Updates reports why the deployment of MQ-4C Tritons to Guam is a key move. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by the free-to-play military vehicle combat game War Thunder. We talk a lot about military vehicles on this channel, but what about trying them out for yourself? In War Thunder, you can choose from more than 1,200 playable vehicles from the 1930s to the 1990s and go to battle on more than 80 theaters of war. You can fly aircraft, helicopters, drive tanks and command ships of all types and sizes, which have been carefully recreated from their real-world counterparts. It's available as a free download on PC, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One with cross-platform support. So grab your friends and give it a try. All viewers of Defense Updates that register using the link in the description below will also get a free premium tank, aircraft or ship and three days of premium account time as a bonus. Since it became an American territory in 1898, Guam has been considered a vital asset by Washington. It lies in the Pacific, east of the Philippines. Its proximity to China, Japan and the Korean Peninsula hand the U.S. a launching pad into Asia and as such it has been built up into a military fortress. The U.S. runs a naval base and coast guard station in the south of the island as well as an air force base in the north which was regularly used during the Vietnam War. Guam is one of the important pieces in this larger game since it is pretty close to China and is expected to play a major role in case a conflict breaks out in the region. Admiral Phil Davidson had earlier told the Senate Armed Services Committee that the island needs protection as the home of 170,000 U.S. citizens and service members, a deep water strategic port, fuel and munition stores, and an airfield used to project U.S. power. Guam would be key to responding to any conflict in the Asia-Pacific region. Davidson said, Guam is a target today. It needs to be defended and it needs to be prepared for the threats that will come in the future. He added, China's own Air Force has put out a propaganda video showing their H-6 bomber force attacking Anderson Air Force Base at Guam and distributed that quite publicly. While the threat from traditional warfare is present, the base may also have to deal with asymmetric tactics. In this context, it is to be noted that multiple incursions by unidentified small drones occurred in 2019. Personnel manning guard towers in the base noted that the drones seemed to have tried to inspect the U.S. Army's Terminal High Altitude Area Defense THAAD, battery that is tasked with defending the island from ballistic missile attacks. Northrop Grumman MQ-4C Triton is an American, high-altitude, long-endurance, unmanned aerial vehicle UAV, under development for the United States Navy as a surveillance aircraft. Together with its associated ground control station, it is an unmanned aircraft system UAS. Developed under the Broad Area Maritime Surveillance BAMS, program, the system is intended to provide real-time intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance missions ISR, over vast ocean and coastal regions. Continuous maritime surveillance, conduct search and rescue missions and complement the Boeing P-8 Poseidon maritime patrol aircraft. The MQ-4C Triton was developed by Northrop Grumman, one of the world's most prominent developers of heavy military drones. It is an advanced long-range surveillance platform for the United States and a number of its allies. The platform's weight of 14,628 kilograms or 32,350 pounds matches that of Northrop's RQ-4 Global Hawk 
and makes it one of the world's two largest and heaviest unmanned aerial vehicles UAVs, in military use. Triton builds on elements of the RQ-4 Global Hawk. Changes include reinforcements to the airframe and wing, de-icing systems, and lightning protection systems. One thing the Triton is designed to do that the Global Hawk cannot is rapidly descend to lower altitudes. At lower altitude, the Triton would use its Raytheon MTSB multi-spectral EOIR sensor, also used on the MQ-9 Reaper, which is equipped with an additional laser designator, pointer, and range-finding abilities capable of automatically tracking what the MFAS detects. The optical suite can stream live video to ground forces. The platform's long-range, 30-hour endurance and ability to operate at 18,000-meter altitudes well above commercial airliners and most fighter aircraft makes it an ideal surveillance platform. Chinese military is expanding at a rapid pace and its maneuvers in the region need serious monitoring so that it can't pull out a surprise move. This is where Triton comes in. The specific task that Triton could be used for is outlined. U.S. military Mike Mackey, Northrop Grumman's Triton UAS program director, stated regarding its use, During surveillance missions using Triton, Navy operators may spot a target of interest and order the aircraft to a lower altitude to make a positive identification. The wing's strength allows the aircraft to safely descend, sometimes through weather patterns, to complete this maneuver. U.S. Navy Captain Dan Mackin stated regarding another reason for the military's deployment of the Triton of the Pacific, one of the main reasons that the Navy decided to fund Triton was to have that teaming arrangement to be able to communicate back and forth between P-8s, Poseidon submarine hunters, and the Triton aircraft. One of the things we'll do is pass information back and forth between the two aircraft and the situational awareness of the fleet will be enhanced. Both aircraft will have the ability to do chat, so both crews will be able to communicate back and forth. It's evident that the large drone's ability to link maritime target data collected by its electro-optical sensors back to ground data sensors on Guam, Hawaii, and elsewhere could thus make it a crucial asset. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.